Reporter Adam Mercusen is live at the San Diego Air and Space Museum where they have a special tribute to Glenn tonight. Adam. And Steve, the museum set up this portrait just inside the front doors. It's draped in a black cloth reading John Glenn, 1921 to 2016. Glenn is inducted into the San Diego Air and Space Museum's Hall of Fame in San Diego played a very important role in this American hero's life. A fighter pilot, astronaut, and senator, an American hero. I guess I've looked at my whole life as being a sort of service to my country. A native of Ohio, John Glenn would become a decorated Marine pilot, flying dozens of missions in World War II. In 1959, John Glenn was selected to be one of NASA's original Mercury 7 astronauts. Oh, that view is tremendous. He'd be the first American to orbit the Earth. This was an incredibly important place in the Cold War and the space race. San Diego played a vital part including that rocket that John Glenn sat on that morning as he launched into orbit. Francis French is a space historian at the San Diego Air and Space Museum. He described Glenn as daring and brave during the middle of the Cold War, a man whose accomplishment changed the space race. He really was an ambassador for this country in a way that that's a lot for somebody to carry on their shoulders their whole life, and he did it with beautiful humility and never put a foot wrong. In the mid-1960s, Glenn left the space program and set his sights on Washington, eventually winning a Senate seat in 1974. After 24 years in Washington, he left the Senate, but not the spotlight. In 1998, the 77-year-old Glenn returned to space after 36 years. His nine-day mission aboard the shuttle Discovery studied the effects of weightlessness on aging. We're very proud to have my name on this ship, but in memory of all those who I served with that I remember every day. In 2014, the Navy named this ship after him, right here in San Diego. John Glenn will be remembered as a pioneer and leader a man who served his country. And here at the museum, they have a small version of the rocket that launched Glenn into space and a life-size version of the capsule that he orbited the Earth in. 